What up Flockers, in this video we're going to review the Princess Parrot. Now the Princess Parrot is an absolutely amazing parrot that is of royalty. And it has a beautiful look, I mean you just look at it, it's amazing like pink throat and a beautiful green body with an interesting blue underneath its wings. And look at that tail, it's like a rainbow. There's like reds and blues, yellows and greens, I mean it's all over the place, I mean the Princess Parrot is a very royal looking parrot and that's what makes them so unique now these birds come from Australia and they're also sexually dimorphic meaning that each sex has a slightly different color and size so you can actually tell whether it's a male or female now the thing about these parrots is they're very popular in the pet trade but more so as an aviary bird it's only in recent times when breeders started to hand raise these birds and people have been finding out that they actually turn out to be really great pets. And what else is so cool is them being very popular aviary birds. There's a lot of breeders for these parrots and they've actually found some really cool mutations. You got like yellow mutations and blue mutations. I mean, these birds turn out to be pretty diverse now, which makes it so cool. Now this little baby princess parrot comes to us from Omar's Exotic Birds over here in Southern California. They are my go-to breeder where a lot of my flock has come from. And in my opinion, they are the store that raises parrots the correct way, having them out for people to interact with and help birds develop a very tame personality, realizing birds and humans can coexist. Now while they did not sponsor this video, they were awesome enough to loan me this parrot, so for that, thank you guys so much. Now if I were to describe a princess parrot, I would describe it kind of like a colorful cockatiel in terms of like its personality and the way it handles. And these birds will live about 15 to 30 years in captivity, so they're definitely a time commitment. What makes these princess parrots so interesting and royalty is they have actually multiple names and you probably have seen some of these names. They're also known as the Queen Alexandria Parrot, the Alexandra's Parakeet, the Princess of Wales Parakeet, and also the Rose-Throated Parakeet, and also the Spinifex Parrot. Its final name, the whole the Princess Parrot or the Queen Alexandria Parrot, comes from Princess Alexandra of Denmark, who in 1863 married the Prince of Wales, Edward VII. And as a commemoration of the event, they named one of their famous birds, the Rose-Throated Parakeet, after her. So. A really cool backstory behind this parrot. But in the end, the real question is, is this parrot the right parrot for you? And to break that down, we got our six categories, which are handleability, quietness, talking ability, care, hardness, and upfront costs. Now, if you guys find this video really valuable, please make sure you hit the like button to help show how amazing these princess parrots are and help push this video further in the YouTube algorithm. My goal for this channel is I want to review every single parrot in existence, seriously. So if you really want to support my mission and follow along, please make sure you hit the subscribe button as it really helps this channel out. And with that, let's go ahead and get started with the video. Now, starting off with handleability, I give the Princess Parrot a score of 4 out of 5. They are very easy to handle and really friendly parrots. I mean, they are just so lovable. They're super curious, but they have a really cool body language behind them. Now what makes handling these birds so interesting, unlike other parrots, is they kind of have more of a bird brain, if that makes sense. They're a little bit more on the simple-minded end, and they just like what they like. They're very inquisitive, more like a bird than, say, a parrot. Whereas a parrot gets, like, really beaky, and they explore, and they're trying to, like, you can see them trying to figure something out like a child. These birds, they kind of figure things out more like a bird with, like, their body language and how quickly they scurry around place to place. So it makes them a very interesting parrot to own that's unlike most other parrots. But that also makes them very easy to handle and tame. So because they're more of like a bird brain, they are more of a flighty kind of personality. And that's one of the reasons why in the beginning, breeders didn't really hand tame these birds. People kind of thought they were just more of a show bird, like an aviary bird. It's only recently now people realize they actually make good pets if you can keep up with hand 
handling them. And when you give these birds constant attention, they don't become as flighty and they actually start to become really cuddly parrots and they'll just hang out with you and spend time and they're just so cute. And they just absolutely love attention and love being around people. They will play games and interact and they'll just jump and run all over the place and scurry about. They're just overall really great. And having very small beaks, they're actually very easy to handle and you don't really have to worry about them being beaky. They're beaky in terms of like how like a bird is beaky, kind of like touching and like feeling things, but they're a lot softer to handle. Now they do have a slightly more fragile body frame, so I wouldn't rough handle a bird like this, even if it might be tempting to, but they're also a pretty decent size for like that frail frame, so they're okay. And I would say kids can probably handle it if they know to like just handle it very lightly but overall this parrot is a very easy to handle bird next up on this list is going to be quietness and for quietness i give the princess parrot a score of four out of five they're definitely a chatterbug when they're young but then they can kind of quiet out as they get older but if you get a male they can definitely start to pick up on chattering and they can actually like start talking which is kind of cool and they're actually pretty prone to talking if you get a male and that's going to replace any kind of loud squawks if it does but overall they're a very quiet bird and they're really great for apartments <laughs> look at it it's such a cute bird we were playing earlier together so i think he's a little pooped out from like playing around with me which is really cute <laughs> But if you are looking for a very quiet bird, if you definitely go female, I think you're going to be really happy with that. Next up on this list is going to be talking ability. For that, I give it a 3 out of 5. They actually have like a decent clarity to their voice, and they can actually pick up words really well if you get a male. If you get a female, it's probably not going to talk. But if you get a male, it will memorize a pretty decent vocabulary, and for its size, will have a good clarity to it, and it will be a pretty pretty cute chatterbug. I would say they tend to prefer more sounds and whistles than actual words and phrases. But overall, if you are looking for a quiet bird that can also talk, this is again one of those few exceptions there are in the parrot world. As normally talking birds tend to be very noisy, but these birds, they're very low volume, so even when they're chattering and such, they're still low enough volume that they're really quiet and they can talk while also being a good apartment bird, which makes it an excellent choice for talking birds. Next up on this list is gonna be care, and for care I give it a four out of five. For a parrot, this parrot is actually relatively low maintenance. They're really easy to care for. I mean, they're so easy to care for, that's why they're such a popular aviary bird. I mean, you just give it food and water and keep it outside and they're really tough. They handle weather really well and they're very low maintenance. They're not very demanding birds. But aside from giving them your normal pellet diet, fresh water, and actually they're also not very picky between fruits and veggies and seeds so they'll eat just about anything they can revert back into being a shy aviary kind of bird if you don't keep up with the interaction so with this bird you definitely want to spend at least an hour a day every single day to make sure that they don't turn back into a flighting shy kind of parrot because otherwise i feel like you're really gonna miss out on one of these amazing birds but if you can keep up with daily interactions they turn out to be really fun parrots and also as far as things like cage go you just want a normal medium-sized cage nothing too crazy they're not super high energy birds. They just need enough room to just kind of hop around and fly in, but they're not particularly demanding or anything. Just add in a normal amount of toys and you're pretty much set with these birds. Overall, a really easy pair to take care of in my opinion. Next up on this list is gonna be hardiness. And for hardiness, I give the princess pair a score three out of five. As far as keeping them goes, they are very hardy parrots. As I mentioned, they are very popular aviary birds. People keep them outside, no problem. They acclimate so easy. I mean, they come from Australia. So they handle weather and things very, very well. It's a pretty tough parrot. Now they are a medium sized kind of parrot, but they have a thick Thin frame. It's kind of like a larger cockatiel in my opinion. The skinny legs and very thin bones. 
So they are a little prone to crushing, so I would be very careful when handling a princess parrot. You definitely don't want to rough handle these birds, and if you do have some kids, I would probably keep these birds away from kids just in case they accidentally crush it or break a leg or something. Unless the kids know proper handling, to which then I think these birds are just big enough to they should be okay to handle. But small kids, I would probably keep these birds away from them. Next up on this list is gonna be upfront costs. And for upfront costs, I give it a three out of five. Now, it's gonna be a little misleading when you start searching this parrot because they're very popular aviary birds, and as such, they're gonna be really cheap. Now, when I keep saying aviary bird, it's because the breeders are not hand raising the birds. They are just letting the mother birds kind of do their thing and you get these very wild type parrots. They're not really used to human interaction and such and they turn out really skittish around people. But it's also very easy to breed a bird like that because you don't have to put any work into it. Just breed the bird. They lay eggs, the parents take care of it, bird grows up, sell the bird. So they're really cheap, but you do not want to get the cheap ones because those are not going to be good pets. For hand-raised babies, they are relatively affordable, but because of things like mutations and stuff, they can definitely go up there in price. I've seen them around even just past $800. But I would say around the six to $800 range is probably normal, give or take. But overall, not too crazy for a bird, especially a bird this easy to take care of. Now being parakeets with long tails, I would say these birds probably will do better in a kind of flight oriented cage but they also still need decent tallness so they don't rub their tail on the grate all the time. So you definitely want a decent sized cage with this, a good healthy medium sized cage. But you pair it again with like a pellet diet and supplementing with like fruits and veggies and you're pretty much set as far as upkeep it's gonna be pretty cheap. Now with their small bills, you'll probably just be buying like cockatiel seeds at your local pet store. So again, relatively cheap parrot to buy an upkeep. So to sum it up, I give the princess parrot a score of 3.3 out of five. I actually say these are overall a really great beginner parrot. They're a lot of fun, but they don't have that like parrot type personality that some people generally are looking for when they're buying one of these birds. But if you do want something that's a little different than your normal parrot, princess parrots are a really great choice. And really it just comes down to personal preference on what you like handling more. So this is where I would say you should always go to a pet store like Omar's that actually lets the birds out for you to interact with and that way you can interact with all kinds of parrots and find out what's the personality you like the most. Because while I am hyping up this bird a bit, some people might not like that bird-like personality and want something a little more, you know, aggressive and you know, rough handling kind of a bird. So this bird then probably wouldn't be for you, but you won't really know unless you try. Aside from that, with such a unique look and a really cool backstory, I mean, these birds are gonna be great conversation starters and I just think that makes them such a cool parent to own. So with that, thank you guys so much for watching. Like and subscribe and I'll see you